Full fat milk is made out of two parts, fat free and fat. Hmm, okay, so that's this whole idea going on here. They give you all this information. Volume has full fat, mass, 4% is fat, density of fat free is this, what's the density of fat? So you kind of, when you see all this much of information, oh, you have to have a really good mind to organize it or you draw everything out, which is what I'm going to do. So we're trying to find the density of fat and we have a whole bunch of volume and mass to deal with. So this is the most painless way to do it. Not much equation involved. I mean, there are, there are people who will write out the equations, but I just cannot. Okay, so what's the information that we have? We have fat-free, right? One part of milk is fat-free, but then it's also fat. And there's also the total combined thing. So full fat which is basically the total, lah. a.k.a. total. All right, so what do we know about these things? Let's draw, let's, let's, well, let's turn this into a table. So we are given volume. That's one of the first things given to us. Volume of full fat milk. That means the whole container, one jug of milk, that is the full fat. So that one, we can write it down here, actually. 1 times 10 to the negative 3 um, in meter cubes, so... Oh, it's good. Okay, so that's the thing that's given to us. What else do we know, huh? Oh, for a mass of 1.05 kg. So let's write that mass in kg. Extend the table a bit. So this is 1.035. Very nice. Then what else is given to us? They give us a percentage. What are we supposed to do with the percentage? Huh? Percentage is for volume, right? Pardon my lines, it's not very straight. 4% fat by volume. So you it means or you can only do 4% of volume. So fat ah, means 4% is fat. So we need to find what is 4%. Let's calculate. Let's do a first round of calculation first. Okay. Actually, let's save the calculation later. Let's write, let's fill in all the info we know first. Lah, huh? So density is the last thing. They give us a density of fat-free milk, which is this one. 1.04 times 10 to the 3. And this density is in kilograms per meter cube. Very nice. Everything in SI units will save us some pain. This idea of drawing table is very similar to what people do on what, what people do to show the nutritional value. You take any box of food, you look, there's a table inside there. It's something like this. Uh. I mean, they won't show volume mass density, but it's something like that. Okay, let's see. It's like a puzzle, guys. Let's draw some lines. And a line here. And a line there. There we go. Let's do calculations. There's too many unknowns. We are trying to find the density of fat right here. But we don't know anything. Never mind. We, we, we slowly step by step. So the first thing we know is 4% fat means that will be 96% fat free. Let's start off by doing that. So 4% of the volume. That would be what? Ah? So you calculate. 4% of the full total volume. That will be fat. So this is 4 times 10 to the negative 5, which is 4% la, of the whole thing, of the total. Okay, this is the total. La. Let's do the same thing for fat-free. So fat-free will be 96%. Most of the milk is fat-free. Okay. So that will give me about 9.6% times 10 to the negative 4. This is our 96% of volume. Okay, we're almost there. Now, you see, we're trying to find the rate thing, right? So we need to find mass. If we can find what the mass is, we can find our answer. But how are we going to find the mass? Oh, oh, oh I know. Let's do a second round of calculation. So second round, I'm going to use purple color now. So step one, fill in the stuff that you know. Step two, let us try to find the mass of any of those things to fill in the blanks. So let's find the mass. I think we can find the mass right here because we know that density is mass over volume. So mass will be density times volume. Let's do that. So to find the mass of fat-free milk, we're going to multiply the density, 1.04 times 10 to the 3, times the volume, 9.6 times 10 negative Okay, so we write that down, la, 0 
998. I guess I could keep the same decimal if I want to. But 9984 lah. Ah, so if I know the total is 1.035, this is the total lah. I can just take total minus the mass of fat free. And that will give me 1.035 minus 0 0.9984. So that will be 0 0.0366 mass of fat. Now, this is the beautiful moment. We have enough information to calculate the, the density of fat already. Yes. Density is mass divided by volume. Okay, 0 0.0366 divided by 4 times 10 negative 5. Make sure I don't press correct. Okay, this one is, looks more correct. 915 kg meter negative 3. Okay, so I guess that's correct. Um, But the answer is in, oh, there's a 915 there, but it's 9.15 times 10 to the 2. So that works too. That's fine. So this one is the answer. Okay, so this table will be one of the ways you can solve this question. You can write a bunch of equations, sure. You can do that if you are able to. Lah. But if you don't know, then you solve like this. It's like solving a puzzle. What's the empty space? Can I fill in the blanks based on what you know? Okay, you cannot simply simply say, oh, I average the density, I average the mass. No, cannot do like that. Okay, so the best answer here is B uh, to solve that. By the way, this is a past year question in case you cannot recognize it. It's from, I think, MJ18, P13. You can go take a look to see if you can find it. P13. So yeah, this, this is a past year question. Lah. All right, so this is the Sudoku way, puzzle solving, draw a table kind of way to solve it. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, check your calculations when you press calculator. Lots of stuff you can press wrong. That's all for this question. See you in the next one.